And as we rebuild, we must not return to a nation as it was before. We must create one that is better. We will only succeed if we overcome the crisis of confidence that clipped our wings long before COVID-19 struck. We have to begin by restoring faith in ourselves, belief in our strengths, and trust in our institutions. Only then can we have confidence to bravely confront whatever tomorrow brings. Ang balakid na nakakahambalang sa ating pagunlad ay ang kawalang tiwala natin sa ating mga sarili, sa ating mga institusyon. Bakit marami sa atin ay uh, napakababaw ng pagtingin sa ating kakayahan? Bakit naging marupok ang paggalang sa mga batas at alituntunin? Simpleng batas trapiko, hindi nasusundan. Ang kalat, itinatapon kung saan-saan. Puso pa rin ang palakasan, talamak ang palusot. Gustong makalamang, ayaw lumaban ng patas. Hindi pwedeng ibunto ng sisi sa taong bayan pa ulit-ulit na pinag pinangangkuan pero hindi natutupad na pangako. Hindi natin pwedeng sumbatan ang masang biniguna ng maraming beses. Kaya ilang beses ko na nitatanong sa aking sarili, paano mo ba natin hihilumin ang pagtatampo ni Juana at Juan de la Cruz? Paano natin ibabalik ang tiwala nila sa gobyerno, sa kanilang sarili, sa ating kinabukasan? Paano ba natin bubuhayin ang pananalig nila na kaya natin ang mga hamong parating? I believe that to win that trust, the government must show in deeds, not in words, that it is deserving of that trust. Government must lead by example. Not by empty exhortation, but in ways that inspire confidence to our people. So they too will believe that the greatness they deserve is at hand. It must present an agenda for the future with clear benefits for our people. For only by providing clarity will they invest in it. We must craft a blueprint for progress, a plan that inspires hope and promises change, because without one, we will be inflicting the old and outmoded views on our people, denying them the benefits that innovation and that empowerment will bring.